A rise in stolen cloud credentials is fueling an underground market of AI-powered sex chat services, with cybercriminals bypassing content filters for disturbing role plays involving child sexual exploitation. A North Korean APT group, Stonefly, is intensifying its financially motivated cyber attacks on US companies, leveraging a unique arsenal of malware and tools. Hackers are actively exploiting a critical SQL injection flaw in Avanti Endpoint Manager, prompting US federal agencies to rush and remediate the threat by October 23rd. Despite Avanti's urgent patches, the details of these attacks remain sparse. And finally, there is a stealthy Linux malware named Perfectal that has been exploiting server vulnerabilities for over three years using advanced evasion techniques to secretly mine Monero cryptocurrency on countless systems worldwide. You're listening to The Daily Decrypt. Cybersecurity researchers from Permiso Security have uncovered a troubling trend where cybercriminals exploit stolen cloud credentials to create AI-powered sex bots. These bots, which are bypassing content filters through custom jailbreaks, often cross into dangerous and illegal role-playing scenarios involving child sexual exploitation and rape. The attacks primarily target large language models hosted on platforms like Amazon's Bedrock. Permiso's investigation revealed that the attackers quickly commandeer exposed credentials to fuel AI chat services, racking up unauthorized usage costs for cloud account owners. Platforms are suspected of leveraging this method to offer chats with AI characters engaging in controversial and explicit scenarios. A certain AI platform claims to bypass content restrictions for a small monthly fee, fueling a broader uncensored AI economy. Amazon Web Services has responded by tightening security measures, but concerns persist around the potential misuse of AI technologies. The situation is you know, highlighting the necessity for organizations to protect access keys and to consider enabling logging features to detect unusual activities, regardless of the additional costs that would be involved in that. Specific providers of large language models like Anthropic continue to enhance their safeguards against such abuses. And so just to recap, basically scammers and hackers are stealing API keys or login credentials for large language models and then using them in their illicit software so that they can continue to bypass restrictions placed on them by these large language model companies and continue to provide these illicit disgusting services, essentially for free since they're stealing the credentials, but it benefits them in many ways. So if you utilize large language models in your services, especially through AWS, make sure you're logging and auditing their usages. There's a new security flaw in Avanti Endpoint Manager, which is an unauthenticated SQL injection vulnerability that's being actively exploited in the wild. Avanti has acknowledged that a limited number of their customers have been impacted. This specific flaw is part of a group of 10 similar vulnerabilities that affects versions prior to Avanti EPM 2022 SU5 and could allow attackers to execute code within the service account. Researchers have published detailed technical information and proof of concept exploits for this vulnerability. To address the issue, Avanti released a patch involving the replacement of critical DLL files and a server restart. Federally, US agencies are mandated to remediate this vulnerability by October 23rd of this year. Avanti has urged all users to ensure their systems are up to date with the latest patches. There is a recent discovery by Aqua Nautilus researchers of the Linux malware Perfectal, which has been running a covert crypto mining campaign for over three years. This malware has targeted potentially millions of Linux users using advanced evasion techniques and rootkits to remain largely undetected. Perfectal primarily uses compromised servers to mine the Monero cryptocurrency exploiting misconfigurations and vulnerabilities, such as one in the Apache Rocket MQ or another in Polkit to gain its initial access. The malware operates stealthily, disguising processes and using Tor for encrypted communications. The malware also deploys proxy jacking software for additional revenue streams. System administrators often notice infections due to 100% CPU usage, 
though Perfectal halts its activities as soon as the user logs in. So if you're monitoring systems, you know, you'll see 100% computer usage in the off hours, particularly at night. And then as soon as the daytime starts, it's going to drop back down to zero. But due to its evasive and persistent nature, typical removal methods are ineffective with a full system wipe and reinstall recommended to ensure complete removal. What a bummer. Aqua Nautilus suggests monitoring system directories, CPU usage, and network traffic, alongside patching known vulnerabilities to detect and prevent the perfectal infection. And finally, just a quick bit of news that the APT known as Stonefly or APT45 is still out there and active despite previous indictments. APT45 or Stonefly is a North Korean cyber threat group and is continuing to target US companies. The group uses a mix of modified and custom malware for espionage and financially motivated attacks, having been active since 2009. Recent attacks in August of 2024 against US companies using tools like Preft and Nukebot highlight their ongoing efforts likely for financial gain. And experts suggest that these activities actually fund other state-funded priorities as well, and we've come to know that North Korea uses this type of activity to fund most of its country. It has like full divisions of hackers out there trying to just gain money to keep their country afloat. So they're really putting the P in APT persistence. They're going to continue to stay around. They might rebrand, but they know that United States and other first world countries are a big source of revenue for North Korea. So they're going to keep hitting us and they're going to keep hitting us hard. So make sure you're patching vulnerabilities and keeping an eye out for their signature attack moves. This has been The Daily Decrypt. If you found your key to unlocking the digital domain, show your support with a rating on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. It truly helps us stand at the frontier of cyber news. Don't forget to connect on Instagram or catch our episodes on YouTube. Until next time, keep your data safe and your curiosity alive.